Ah, there's no point in life anymore. Everyone I fight is level 50. Goodbye! <laughs> Dang it! What's up, guys? It's Super Silver here, and today we're back with more Splatoon Story Mode. In the last episode, we beat the boss of Area 1, the mighty Octostomp, and we did levels 4 and 5, and in this episode, we're going to do 6, 7, and hopefully 8. So let's get to it. Starting with the Propeller Lift Playground. Let's do it. Oh, oh that guy was he saw me and he got stuck. Oh, dang. You actually blew up inside of the purple. Little bomb and bomb. Bravo! Oh, bravo indeed, dude. Bucko, I mean. Prepare our left in the wind. In your face, there's nothing better. Yep, nothing. Imagine that would be bad if that thing fell on top of you. Switch. There's, you can't run. There's nothing you can do. Ooh, another propeller. What you trying to do? Oh my gosh, this is one of the best lines in the game. Just listen. Don't fall into the You know us sea creatures can't swim. Heh <laughs> heh. See, even the game developers knew that squids not being able to be in water was kind of stupid because that line well it's not stupid it's actually a pretty good concept i mean these guys are ink squids you know i mean what it's they're shooting paint all over the ground and you know what's the best thing to clean paint on the ground water oh Yeah, so that's that's kind of my uh, like my like theory or like uh, what I think is the reasoning for them making like squids these squids not being able to go in water because they're they shoot paint everywhere. I and water cleans paint. See? Haha. <laughs> I don't have to use my shooter on you. I can just use my bombs. Yeah. Dang. Oh, hey. I was going to hit them with the bomb, but okay. No trap? Hmm, that's kind of weird. We did it! Yeah. Ink squids fall in water. Water cleans paint. It all makes sense. 
But I like how Cuddlefish just laughs. He's like, <laughs> yes. oh wow. All right. Super jump, cheat. Yeah. Spreader Splatfest, ink stains and teardrops. I'm not sure what that. Wait. I didn't grab the scroll, did I? I didn't grab the scroll, did I? I didn't grab the scroll! Oh, come on! I will be going back into stages if I do miss scrolls. I just don't know where it was. Where could that scroll have been? stages that I actually don't know where the scroll is. It's not there. Nothing there. Nothing there either. What about it? And there's... You know. Don't tell me I'm going to spend all my time trying to find this scroll. I don't actually know where it is. Yeah, I did say that I knew where all of them are. But this one, I'm just kind of stumped. Where is it? Oh, don't tell me. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? This is what happens when I try and speed run. I, mean, I miss stuff. Speed run tactics. Go. Is this actually like right before the end? And this is a good chance to get more uh, orbs. You're shooting the wrong way. All right. That's where the scroll is, guys. We completely skipped it. All right, here we go. The Department of Energy has announced that further declines in the availability of electric power are likely to occur in the near future. With the underground domes also deteriorating rapidly, the future does not look bright. Oh, man. Poor Octarians. Poor Octarians. They only sold the Zapfish. Well, they, yeah, they truly they stole it for revenge. But I mean, they're losing power, and us squids took over the rest of the turf. Like, there's no place for those guys to live. So, and because now they don't have any power, so they'll basically all die. It's kind of sad. I don't really care. Let's keep going. Yeah, you said. It sure did sound like I cared for a second there, right? Well. You're wrong. All right. 
right, get it for the stage. These spreaders, no matter how much yellow ink you put on the ground, these spreaders will just slurp it all up. I don't, these, they won't actually kill you, they'll just kind of push you. But, I mean, that's very scary. Uh, armor. Oh, they died before they could shoot their purple little blobs at me. What? Hey, dude. Didn't see you there. Now while you're dead. Oh well. Uh, so what's your favorite food buckle? Mine be Krabby Cakes. That's probably the most random thing you can talk about at a time like this. Whoa, I was not even trying there. I'm just shooting randomly in front of me. Yes, I hear... I hear... A bell in the background and I'm recording and it's a, and I, I actually know who it is I actually do know who it is that's calling and um, it's probably gonna be some voices oh my goodness this is kind of bad what's that scroll it's, it, it's over there Oh, she's still over there. Oh, no. Well, I have to go back. See, now, the, now I know. This is very nice. Ah, I gotta have these things carry me under. So, what's your favorite food, guy? Guys, my be, mine be peanut butter. It's actually, that's actually a truth right there. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is the best. Just put in the comments below what your favorite food is, and, uh, yeah. Whoa! Oh! Oh, make it up there. And now we can... Oh! Oh, I almost fell! I was getting a little reckless there, wasn't I? Well, after this video, I'll go greet whoever came in the door. More armor, yellow armor now. Oh, here we go. Hey, I'm gonna be there in a minute. Oh my, I forgot. I did not see those shields. Okay. Oh. There we go. He was like, no. Wow, that was actually pretty scary and risky. Woo. I had a feeling that would happen. Oh, good. The ink sprayed during a turf war vanishes almost immediately after the battle ends. How environmentally friendly and incredibly convenient. That is very true, but we got stage 7 done, so you know what's next? We're gonna take on stage 8, what I was hoping we'd be able to do. I mean, we'd probably be able to do more if I didn't have to go back to uh, stage 6 and grab the scroll. But, I mean, whatever. Because I don't want these videos to have too many stages in them. Because, I mean, if I did, like, nine, and the next episode would just be the boss, and a few stages after that. So I want to be able to do nine, 
and the boss in a few stages of three, World 3 next time. So let's do this! It's time for one of my favorite stages in the game. I'm actually going to do this stage twice, and I'll actually explain to get into it. Alright, Octoling Invasion. Ooh! Octoling Invasion, what's this all about? Alright, the Zatfish is back there! Just gonna grab all those orbs. I'm gonna do a Seeker this way. Do another Seeker because it did not go over the ramp. There we go, now we just gotta walk forward a bit. We've got company, bucko! Octolings ahead! Now, Octolings are basically just Inklings, except they can turn into octopuses. So basically, I'm gonna do- the reason I'm doing this stage twice is because basically, what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna do the stage twice. One's trying to just get through it without doing anything. Oh, I, that Octoling tried to sneak up on me. What? So anyway, I'm just going to do the stage without killing any Octolings. That's right. I'm not going to kill one Octoling this round. And then the next round, I'm actually going to do the stage correctly and get the scroll. So let's go. All right, we just got to run really fast and go into the thing. Oh, go, 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 go. Whoa, oh, yes. Boom, killed no Octolings. That, that's actually a really easy stage to do it on. In other stages, it's really difficult not to kill any Octolings. But there are different paths you can take. So, all right, stage nine, of course, is the final stage. Now we're going to go through the stage the way that they kind of intend you to do it. Let's just go through it again. Oh, yes, the Zapfish is, of course, back there. We've got company. Octolings ahead. Now, I actually made a video of me squid partying with an Octoling. Uh, this o the Octoling that I just killed got in this little corner and started doing this. It's kind of funny. I mean, yeah, after I mentioned that she wasn't throwing bombs at me, she started to throw bombs at me. But, I mean, it's the thought that counts. That Octoling is a good friend of mine now. Oh my gosh, stop hitting the stupid balloons. It's a battle. And of course, it's only the girl inkling that I do it with. No squid parties for this boy. He's tough. He don't squid party. This boy don't squid party. Sup? Now the final. We shall. No one will mourn your death, except except Asian three girl version. Oh wow. So that's basically the way they intend you to do the stage. Boom. We're done here. Kelp Dome Showdown. And that is it. That is the stage jump twice. Two different ways to beat it. Parado Paradise Lost by Octolangela. Look at that. I love that. Look at that. They even got the leaves. They got, they got the squid who's, I guess, supposed to be the snake that told them to eat the apple. That's actually really cool. I kind of like that. Anyway, guys, I think that is going to be the end of this episode of Splatoon Story Mode. Next time, when we play this game, we will be beating the boss of World 2. I'll see you guys then.